Right, so we're out on the last round, the Jamaica. Um, I've not had a great tournament, hence why I'm not in this coverage, but Steve um, is second last group, start the day at seven under par. Leon is last group, start the day at seven under par as well. So what I'm gonna do, as they're sort of playing near each other, and they're both been on the channel, I'm trying to film them both, follow them both in, see how they got on over the last sort of like six, seven holes. All right, so I'll try and get as much footage of both of them as possible, but I know a lot of you guys can appreciate getting both of them on the channel. Um, their ton of footage, so if you leave this video a like, I'm not going to be able to be talking very loud, obviously you've got to be whispering, um, but I'll try and do as much commentary as possible as we're watching them finish. So give the video a like, subscribe, and leave those comments down below. Stuck behind the tree, hit drive off his tee. Just probably just hit the tree and come down. Just to keep this like under the tree. A little bounce. Release. Yeah, that's a great shot from there. That's right, so a flag on this par three. It's cut right on the back tier, so really tough flag to get at. Steve's missed it just short right so this is not really the easiest up and down to be fair though I mean it looks like his ball's like sat on the upslope I'm not sure what the lie's like but he's got a bit of green to work with it sort of just gets away from him a bit though so this is not really ideal at this stage but he's got a great short game so let's see what we can do shot there. Leon now has probably about 30 footer up the green, slightly uphill, breaks to the left so he gets near the hole. I'm not sure exactly what Leon's on at the moment but I will when I'm editing so you're going to see the tournament score. I know got off to a bit of a shaky start on one of the holes. Hopefully he can finish strong. He's got to knock this in. I think he's one back at the moment. Leave your comments down below. Who's who's winning this? Out of Leon and Steve over the last few holes. Who's got it? Lad. It's gusting, and it was this morning as well. It's gusting at like 35. So Leon struggled early, um, made double on one of the par fives, hit it over in the tee shot, and then second ball, um, second shot, provisional ball, knocked it to five foot and two and then free putted for seven. So it's got to get under your skin a bit. But I just turned the camera on, and you know what Leon's like, loves the camera, not shy. Um, so he's gonna showcase, that's his word, showcase. Looks a bit like Paratour, that guy. So Steve has the experience here. So for those of you that don't know, Steve is actually top 400 in the world. He's like the 20, I think he said 29th ranked UK pro and you would never know it because he's the most modest guy you'll meet would never tell you um, played an open he's won just a silly amount of these events mini tour events plays sunshine tour um, keeps his card every year he's like a serious player loads of knowledge, loads of experience so I'm hoping that he has that to carry him through because when it's out here and it's tough you need experience to see you in, that's a good looking shot there, mate. Not looking great coming in. I'll give you a weather report in a minute. Oh, look at that. That's angry. So 
yourself up the right. Stay out of it, stay out of it, stay out of it, stay out of it. Only on the on cue with the honey roasted Cheerio. That is a bomb. It's probably got about 80 yards. Hole is it's probably 350 to them. And to be fair, Leon's wedge game is pretty sharp. Let's see what we can do. Needs a run. A serious run. Par 5 coming up. Calm down. We like it. We like it. I just got to drop it. Steve's playing out the hazard. Leon's got the 5 foot birdie part and it has absolutely started lashing down. So he's struggling with part today. Come on Leon, you need this. Right over to Steve. Get up there. Right, just getting up to the green. Steve left himself a body pot. Looking like we got about 12 foot. A little left to right swinger. Probably moves about six to eight inches off the left lip. Right, mate, so has to go in. Oh, yes, I think that's a birdie. I'm sure that was hazard right, but managed to chip it down the fairway, knocked it to their birdie. Loves it. Requires a bomb leaking a bit right. Ooh, this looks interesting. I'd say about 200 yards tops from where he is. And we've got a little uh, ball flight action going on here. I'll try and get an idea of what he's going to try and do with it. A bit wet, mate, eh? <laughs> Yeah, just what is this? stay dry. This is garbage. How far have you got in, mate? 205. 25. Yeah. Getting drenched. I'm trying to get this angle for you guys. If you leave this alone, I'd be appreciated. Oh. Over down the fairway, we've got Steve. Probably about one, don't know actually. Okay. Right. He's not dead today. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll clean the lens in a minute. Just gotta see what he does here. Come on, he's just missed birdie part on the last. Has this for Eagle. If he gets one in, he could have one of those streaks. Nerd. Straight back down the fairway and clean the lens yet. Steve up the green. Actually, hold on from five foot left of this earlier. Got like a foot of swing right to left. It's about 25 foot. Don't break that much. Ah, oh, Steve. So, par three. 17th. This is tough as well because it sort of all opens out and you're getting the wind coming from that direction with no shelter at all. It is, it was playing straight across earlier. I think it's playing straight across now, but you can switch around a bit out here and because it's so windy, the difference between switch across, that straight across and into across is like five, 10 yards. This would be a very, very chippy six iron. Really 
release, release, release. 20 foot up the green. He's left himself 40 yard pitch for chipping out sideways. Front door. Hold. Into the green. Stay up there. Could be good. Go and get. Oh wow, that's just. Bullet. So we've got this par three, and then um, 18 is a par five up the hill, straight into the wind, not reachable. So it's probably going to be a free. Shot. It is going to be a free shot for everyone because well, I'll show you in a minute. But we're going to see how Leon gets on, then gets straight up to 18, see how Steve finishes, and then uh, yeah. See if this guy closes it out. Go on, release. I don't think this part does a lot, as it's almost like straight up the brake. Steve's third. Unusual Steve. Right, so Steve's got about 75 yards. So yeah, par five. Um, basically reduced to a free shot today because a hazard sort of like cuts through at 280 off the tee into wind. Then I'm going to be able to carry that with this wind. Um, you then just basically hit second shot up to here, third shot up to um, tricky little pin with a hazard right. And uh, yeah, I've said this is about 75 yards. Absolutely drilled it in there low. Oh, that's wow. <laughs> right, you know, I said about 18 not being driver. If there's one man that's going to hit driver, it's that man there. Loves the big stick. Steve for That's a bogey five under finish for Steve. Right, I'm guessing. But it's a strong guess that this is his third shot and I'm pretty sure the clubhouse leader is at 9 and he's 10. So it's just down in 3 to win. Look at the camera work. Right, it's your leader. Ten under. Two parts win. Very good. Nice start.
Gelad. <laughs> 